So many times we watch the post-game interviews and mm -hmm. the guys say, great game, you know, I owe it, owe it to my team. Did, did you, in listening to it, think it was all, it all refreshing, hearing a guy really speak his mind? That doesn't bother me at all. I thought it was in the heat of the moment. I'm really glad. He had said something earlier this week about he glad he had a microphone on when he went over to shake Michael Crabtree's hand, which changed the whole dynamic of the relationship. You know, if you try to shake a guy's hand, and he don't want to shake your hand, that's just going to really make you mad. I've talked to different people this week who say he wasn't going over there to shake his hand. Well, he was saying good game in a, in a it, different kind of way. Listen, you think he genuinely it, meant that? Uh, you saw it on the tape. He said good game, good game, and held his hand out. I mean, that, that to me, listen, I think clearly people really overreacted. It bothered me for the simple fact how a guy can go from graduating second in his high school class, go to Stanford, working on his master's, and then a 15 sound bite, people can get so vitriol like toward him. that. And it's a learning lesson. Uh, you tell people, like, they want you to stay in your place. It's like, yeah, we like you as a player, and you're all right. But I like the other things you said about, you know, when people throw the term around thug, street carrot, calling him monkey and things, that's pseudo for the N-word. Do you, we, we just heard the soundbite with Rachel Nichols where he says, yes, that is pseudo for the, for the N-word. Of course it's it is. This, you agree. Every black pe person knows that. You know, everybody, like, you know, you got a couple of people who are ignorant who use that as a slur. Uh, but people also do, they do, they say street cred. Uh, Think of Tupac in the 90s, wasn't saying thug cool at the time. What changed? Well, uh, first of all, listen, we got this great debate going on West Fair. I, I use the N-word. Me and my friends use it, and we're not going to stop using it. I don't care what anybody out there say. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to use it. I know the difference when me and my friend are saying the N-word when somebody white is trying to insult me. I find it fascinating when I'm watching these shows when uh, we go back to, you know, no dis dis disrespect to Paula Dean. Uh, she was using the N-word, and... And people turned it on us and said, well, you guys use it in song and use it to yourself. Yeah, but we, we know what it means toward each other. Do you uh, say thug? No, not really. That's not, uh, you know, not really. I, I, I'm not sure what context I would use it in, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, but it is a, a racial slur. Uh, it's, some people don't have the courage to say the N-word. So they use terms like thug and street cred, but that's what they really mean.